Welcome back to The Sixth Man. Um, we're coming towards the end of our NBA playoff conversation this evening. We've saved the best until last. I'm joined by The Sixth Man himself, the Asian Adam Silva, along with House Lasku. And yes, you guessed it, it's the Nets and the Celtics. Um, Alex and I watched it live. Um, what an incredible game. What an incredible game. Um, Ed, uh, did you did you catch the, the highlights afterwards? No, man, he's too busy partying up in Clapham. He <laughs> don't really care. Hey, why are you baiting me? <laughs> Ed's got a social, um, we don't. No, one, thing, <laughs> one, one thing I was going to say, Bray, is that you've also got the two people who've got the Celtics and the Nets in the six-man uh, draft here. And uh, so before the games, me and Alex did watch the uh, FA Cup semi-final and we were talking about the Nets uh, Celtic series. And I was saying to Alex, who was smarter than me in basketball, says that they feel like the Mets are going to win. I'm sorry, the Celtics are going to win. And Alex just was so befuddled by that. And then we went through sort of talking about the squads and how and, and which players can step up. So we know who the top two dogs on each team are, but we're, we're talking about the others, who can score 10 points in the game on the others. And Alex mentioned that, oh, Drummond could, or um, Aldridge could, or Blake Griffin could, or I didn't say it was say, Patty Mills I didn't say okay, it was Blake. What is it? What's, um, what's, what's your mouth here? Aldridge I mentioned Blake Green. I mentioned Nick Claxton. I met Alex, remember I mentioned, oh yeah, they got Nick Claxton as well, and you you scoffed it off, who was played very well. Uh after drug itch was there. Yeah. And then went through the Celtics roster. I'm like, oh no, but the Celtics have got players who can score more than 10 points. And I said Al Horford, Alex laughed in my face for a good 10 seconds. Um, and then the conversation just ended like, right, I'm not I'm not having this anymore. Uh, so I did get a chance to watch the game on like you guys. So I wanted to defer to you guys for this uh, game and then for the outlook for the series. I mean, look, there's a reason I picked the Nets. Um, I think that this series is is not a foregone conclusion that uh, Celtics are going to win. And also, the fact that the Celtics have won this game and just barely, by the way, you know, buzz beater and KD didn't have a good game. Like, I mean, that's... A, is that a red flag? I don't know. The, the game was so back and forth. Like there was so much stuff that happened, and t there was a lot of blows from both teams. I think the most impressive thing was uh, is Kyrie sounding out all of this noise and like just playing so well. Um, he was getting a lot of backlash as he normally does in Boston. Probably the most he gets across the league, and um, the the plays that he was making, especially as as KD, they did a really good job. Um, what I was really impressed with from the Celtics is that at every opportunity, they were physical with him. Um, and he looked exhausted at points during this game where he was trying to get to position. And also another important thing to note, Ed, is that Tatum, a couple of times, blew by him. Like, Tatum had a really quick move where he would spin off as soon as he caught the ball and, like, he was gone. And um, I love the energy of Tatum going straight at KD. Um, he had that huge free to uh, close out at the end of the third as well, Prey. Um, there's there's so much to talk about, really, to, to be honest with you. The, and the last play was crazy. But um, that, that's some initial thoughts we got. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I agree. I think the... I mean, so if we go to the first half, it was a pretty back and forth game. Like, we had a lot of KD versus Tatum um, going on in that first half as well. Um, Kyrie relatively quiet, but still making some big shots. Um, the I was very, very impressed by the Celtics defense. It was kind of everywhere. And Goran Dragic as well. Um, just a guy who's clearly made for the playoffs. What a Turned pick up. up. What a pickup from them. He was really, really good. Um, Claxton was... Claxton was everywhere as well on the boards. Um, Claxton was really good. Um, he just he really struggled from the free throw line. Actually, I don't I, don't, I can't remember what he shot. But, but Bray Brooklyn he missed got, a lot. Ed Brooklyn One of five, got yeah. absolutely swallowed on the on the rebounding end. Yeah. Like uh, Celtics abused and abused them, um, and especially in this in the second uh, well in the, in the second and the third quarter. I just remember it being a big thing. Not so much the fourth. Sorry, go on, Brett. Yeah, I will say Drummond was uh, was too slow as well. Uh, he 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 
you expect someone like that to really help you on the boards and the just what he was giving up everywhere else on the court was was not good enough uh, in, in my view um, I mean Hawford was dominating it yeah exactly I, I laughed at it he, he I mean, so, turned up yeah we were saying Al Hawford um, he had 20 20 points and 15 rebounds he was 8 of 13 including 2 of 2 from 3 he was he was one of the main reasons um, why it was close in the first half. I'd say his Played first like half a max was, player. was incredible. <laughs> um, so he he put in an absolute shift, um, and he had Tice alongside him. Like, oh, I think this game could have been wildly different if if Robert Williams was in that spot because uh, Tice didn't have a good game. Um, but it was good to see. Um, it was good to see um, not uh, Pritchard. Um, the other Box guy, spot. Grant Williams, to uh, come in to try and guard KD for a bit. Just throw another body at him and save Tatum. Because one thing I will say, Tatum was gassed in the fourth. He was yeah. so tired. He, there, were, there, were, there was such a long stretch of the game where he, they weren't really going to him on offense. If they were, he was, he was taking back. He was settling a lot. Um, he... Oh, that was it. He he. Uh, I think he blocked Kyrie. Kyrie took a jump shot and he blocked it, but then he didn't run on the fast break. So it meant that he wasn't there to follow the layup that got missed. And it's like all of that, the, you put in the effort on defense, but you couldn't convert it. So now it means nothing. Like it was so, it was so tough to watch because he was clearly, clearly picking and choosing his spots. Um, he played, I think, 44 minutes in the end. 45 minutes actually and that's that's too much i think the main reason is because he was instrumental in that third quarter run um him and kd were going back a bit he made some tough shots he was really good um so it's, you don't want to take him out during that run they, they're up 15 pretty much going into the fourth and then the nets go on a big run to bring it back and you can't take him out at that point because otherwise kd is going to murder you um and you know it's good to have guys like that as well to, to guard Kyrie, but that's what I was saying, Jason Tatum. I was really glad, though, Jalen Brown, just before um, the, the play where they kind of stop Kyrie um, and they go, then they go down and win it, um, they, had a, they basically had a two-for-one opportunity. So out of a timeout, Jalen Brown, they get a stop, and Jalen Brown immediately just goes straight to the him, rim. straight to the rim. There's two points. It's now a one-point game. Like, it was... It was you, that's like winning basketball plays uh, right there. You know you need two points. So let's get them as easy as we can. And that that interior... Defense, and also that Jalen Brown play where he had a coast-to-coast. He had a chase-down block on one end and then scored. It was pretty nuts and won't make the highlight rule because there were so many different highlights. Yeah. What do we guys think about the, the last play? I mean, there's a lot of... There's a lot of different elements to it. Uh, the Nets had a really tough offensive um, uh, set that obviously they got a tough shot. Um, KD fading and they played good deal on Ky- Kyrie. But I, what I really liked is um, coach not calling timeout. Mm. I love that. I've, re- I've really enjoyed that. And Marcus Smart made the best, made the best play of the yeah. game. Uh, and, again. And I feel like it's been said quite a lot. It's very unlike him not to shoot that, but he, I think it's, he's, he's, matured, yeah. he's matured a lot this year. Um, and in their kind of, it's, he's almost a de facto point guard, um, even though he, he kind of, he brings the ball up, but it's not like he's really initiating much offense. Um, he's just kind of, he's safe hands and he's, he's really performed well in that role, I think this year and will do for them. I think the Tatum Brown, um, uh, smart three three kind of two two guards and a forward lineup worked so so well for them. Um, I'm a big fan of that. And should we, uh, should, we, should we close out with some predictions? Also, Ed, I know you like a stat, right? The Nets have a record of, and this came up zero and forty two when they trade. They they're trailing by d- double digits to end the, to start the final uh, quarter. Yeah. They haven't won a game in 42 attempts, um, which is pretty nuts. But that's yeah, that's very uh, Rams. That's very really Rams s of last year in the um, in the NFL last year. Uh, Ray, I think the stat was that the Rams are the opposite. It's flipped the Rams whenever they were up at half time were like 30 or something like that. It was ridiculous. Like if mm-hmm. they're up at half time, they don't lose. Um, but yeah, this just it feels like the opposite. But I mean, the Nets were close. They're one possession away, but still, as you said, well, that is quite a damning. That's quite damning. Yeah. predictions 
Um, I, I, before we get to predictions, I want us. I do want to say, Kyrie Irving was incredible. Oh my word! Some of the shots he was making, like he, he was doing it all. What did he have? Nineteen in the fourth. Like that yeah. man turned up. He wanted it um, on a night, and he was the only reason they were in it. Otherwise, it would have been a blowout. That's why, it's, it's why I picked them, Bray. I just KD and Kyrie. They're always going to be there. Um, maybe they don't win this series, but it's going to be hard to beat them. They're just two incredible players. Yeah. Um, um, I, so, yeah. Freaking prop. Ben Simmons on the fucking bench. Like, get in the game, bro. Just play. Oh, it um, must be so frustrating for Nets fans, man. I, he just can't, he's just always, he's, he's on the All he cares about is, is just his, he's like, how he looks there. and just. Uh, Anyway, um, okay, but yeah, so props to Kyrie. Um, on to predictions. I'm going to start uh, Boston in seven. Um, I think the Nets haven't got enough. Uh, I think, you know, that beyond beyond their current big three of Kyrie, KD and Goran Dragic, uh, there's there's not enough going on for the rest of it. I think the Celtics, the rest of the Celtics are going to pip into the post. Ed? Ed? See Six. You reckon so it's a six? Yeah. Ooh. Alex? Uh, Nets in six. You think they're about to, they're about to win four, four of the next five games? Yeah. Uh, if they don't get it done in six, they'll get it done in seven. I strongly believe the Nets are winning this series. Um, as you guys have seen before, um, a team can lose two and then win four straight. Yeah. Having in the finals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, and also Brooklyn were 2 0 up uh, against the Bucks. So I don't think it's um I think Steve Nash can make some adjustments. Um I love I love how animat- animated he was as well. He was into it, man. I love that. He was he was he was really um he was fighting. So um yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great series, man. They've only Can't got wait. they've only got still one. Um they've only got still one. Um that's uh that's it. I think um Best game of the playoffs by far. I can't wait for the series. Um, And I'm sure neither can everyone else. But that's all from us. Uh, We'll catch you in the next one. Later.